Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Boyke here getting ready to take out the Chinese Reserve T26 in Ground Realistic. Um, it's a love-hate tank for me, so it has an incredible gun. You should always be using the BR240 or the APHE BC ammo. Um, it's got just, just as much pen, even better at 30 degree angles. Um, and once it goes in, it explodes and uh, pretty much one shot anything you go after. The downside of it is no armor, so only 15 uh, millimeters of armor and a big old flat plate here. If you look at where the crew sits, I mean, any shot that goes through that front plate is pretty much going to take out your tank. So um, let's take it out, see what we can do with it. All right, the map's frozen pass. I uh, used to love going up on this ridge, but Kaijin changed the map, so it's not as good as it used to be. So we're going to spawn over here, get behind this rock, and shoot down past the church there. This tank is pretty slow getting to the battle, but once you're there, that gun's freaking phenomenal, so trade offs. That looks pretty cool. I like a little buddy tank. Alright, always full up tier at 1 0. See, we're up against USSR, Britain, Japan, Italy, and France. I ended up on the wrong side of where I wanted to be. Can't change the pass, but we can do what we can to fix it. So the nice thing about the spot we're going to, since we've got a little extra time here, you can shoot for any of their guys coming in this way uh, from their spawn. And you can also do uh, some help over towards what's normally the seaside, or the sea cap. Now this is an interesting map. I mean, it's basically a war of attrition on uh, these single caps like this. You do have to be careful here getting up on hills with these things. It has the Russian five degrees of gun depression, which ain't much. Doing the lumberjacking. We're covered from that angle. And, uh, we'll just hang out here, see what happens. It'll take a little while to get into some action, but it's gonna be a long map. All right, one shot, one kill. Oh, of course she did. I was in the movie Sniper. Alright, two shots, one kill. <laughs> Close enough. Alright, so our team is looking good. We're just kind of set up a little bit on our side of the map. I'm gonna keep checking that left side. You guys coming straight at us, I'm less worried about. So guys come from the left that can do some real damage to us. Alright, got shots on each of them. Black Panzer's down. Just check that left side again. A uh, better way to check it is just uh, by looking that direction instead of swinging my turret every time. One, it, uh, it basically creates some motion. There he is. shot. Let's see if we can get him. Nice. Um, so it obviously takes your turret away from potentially what's in front of you, but the other thing it does is it creates some motion that uh, makes you easier to see. I think this guy sees us. We're gonna have to go over the hill to get our gun down to get him. And then back behind in a nice little hidey hole. Check front, check left. And start doing what I was talking about with looking with the, just the camera. All right, well, we got a few dead bodies around us, in front of us. It's usually a good sign. Not bothered to use my artillery yet, because I should be looking for early targets. 
good shot. Another one. Thought that would have gotten his engine. Really? That's fucking survivability if I could give him a medal. Another one coming out. Terrible shot. Checking our left. Don't see anybody on our team covering that flank, so we're responsible for it. One coming out. He's down. Love this shell. So when you're playing, if you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tanks all dead in an area, maybe don't go that direction. Just a thought. Maybe pick another route. Alright, two of them on Alpha right now. Teams are still pretty damn full. Here's something left. Might be a plane. You're alive? No, you're all blown out. Okay. So, we just continue to watch. Keep our eyes open. Situational awareness. Both teams have plenty of players left. This one's gonna last a while. Alright, here's a guy coming to our left. Don't think he knows we're here. No, he doesn't. No, he does. Oh, there's one right there. So in these maps, I mean, yeah, we're camping, but there's only one camp on or capture point on either side. And uh, it's near their spawn. You basically got to kill them all to win the game. It's not like you're running around trading caps with the other team. So I don't mind doing it on this type of map. All right, still dismount dead bodies in front of us. Watching our left. Team looks like got knocked back pretty good. There's one. Hey, Tetra. Hey, you're fine. Come on out. I mean, again, like the situational awareness of all these dead tanks in an area. Don't try it out that way, guys. Just don't do it. Odds of it ending well are pretty low. Alright, I hear something down to my right. No, it's behind me. It's a friendly. See that guy heading up the hill there? I mean, might as well risk it for the biscuit. Let's get him marked. Our left. Let's get back behind our rock. And they're on Bravo. So, all right, got the man up. Let's see if we can come in behind them. Are they not expecting us? So sit rep is we're in the HS 123. We're on frozen pass. I think we have. Nope, 
we no longer have a gun on the ground. We're all in planes. So only way we're going to take these guys out is with bombs. We've got four of them. Um, unfortunately, the little bombs drop first on this guy. Not sure why, but it's a thing. Uh, I don't see any planes up for them, so I think we're just going to be using bombs to uh, cover Bravo best we can. First one's going to come off the left side of our plane. I'm just going to act like we want to run into him. Drop one. Looks good. It wasn't. Alright, we got two on this side. Let's go ahead and drop two. One for each of you. And we've got one more little bomb left. Let's use him on this guy who's in the cap still. Try to prevent them from getting it. Oh, I thought it was a right side for some reason. Core bomb. Alright. Now we got the big guy. Let's use him. Nice. Alright, so cap's clear for the moment. Hopefully a couple ground units we have coming in to do some damage. I do see a plane coming in, so I don't want to screw off too much. Let's get rid of this big heavy sucker. Should be a good bomb. Yep. Alright, plane, where'd you go? Our victory is near. Our victory is not near. We're getting smoked. Bite your tongue, man. Hear him. Don't see him. There he is. Alright, he's gonna be more maneuverable than we are. So, unfortunately, we took the head on. It did not work out well. Turns out 50 cows hurt. Well played, sir. Alright, sit rep, we're in uh, I-15 bis on Frozen Pass. They've got a CR-32. There's been tearing our team up. We're down to just a few guys. We do have rockets, we can try and help with the ground units anyway. That is not the CR-32. Where is he? There he is. Alright, we're definitely going to worry about him first. He's obviously interested in us. Just got to outmaneuver. And try to stall him out. Seems to work pretty good. He's down. Let's check on this guy, BD1. His back on it. Alright, well his back gunner can do some damage to us, so we need to stay below it. I think he knows that he's trying to fly low too. He's dropping his bomb too early though, I think. Yep. I'd love to get his back gunner out so he quits freaking shooting at me. There we go. Alright, let's go back in. Let's get the WEP off. This thing tends to overheat. Let's see if we can get a few rockets on whoever's in Bravo. Give our boys a chance to uh, do something on the ground here. They're down to three players. Our AA's going in. Can't tell if they're capping B or if it's losing the cap. No, they're not capping it. Alright, so what is he? He's dead. That's good. What's this guy? Let's at least mark him for our teammates. Yeah, we're not going to do much damage to him other than potentially with the rockets. Here, plane coming in. Don't see him yet. There he is. Just make a miss the first time. Should be able to outturn him. Wow. 
I did not think he had the angle on that. Maybe he uses a rudder. Either way, we'll play. Take that, trees. Alright, last vehicle. Let's do this. Thank you. All right, so they still have four. We've got the two of us. If we stay back, maybe focus on the plane. He's gonna have bombs that look like BB-1 or an SU. Let's get some Marty on Bravo. All right, we've got three guys, that's good something back to my left. Now, there's something about the engine on this thing that makes me think it's behind me. So there's something about that plane. Somebody else got a nice job. We are somehow ahead on point, so we don't have to put ourselves out there as much as they do. Guy's more of a danger than the guy down here. Well, shit, there's two in B. We're not getting any help for a while. And we just lost our 50 cal. And we just lost our turret. Oh, you did not, you little shit. Well, we certainly could have done all that better, but I think we gave it a pretty good run. Let's uh, just spectate. I don't usually take a backup, but let's do this. I think this might make the difference between us winning or losing. Alright, sit rep is on the HS-123A1. This has been a long, hard-fought battle on both sides. They do have an I-15 up, which is not good for us. Nice shooting, buddy. And they've got a guy. I thought I saw somebody on the ground here running behind there, buddy. Alright, got five bombs. Just need to find a target. We're head on points. So, no concerns there. Two more kills, we can end this. Seem to like to go through that pass right there. Alright, plane coming in. It's potentially gonna suck. Because we're gonna be low and slow. If anything, maybe we get him to chase us. What's he in? Yeah, he's gonna outturn us. Might as well take the head on. See if we can get him to chase us and give him a bomb to eat. No, he wasn't hungry. Damn, I 
hate going up against I-15s. Oh, that's Two minutes, 45 left. Let's just watch our buddy, see how he does. And basically all he has to do is stay alive, so if we see him die, we'll go ahead and use another uh, backup, which I don't usually do, but certain times you kind of have to. Time's our friend. I see him. Okay, so he did hear the guy over there as well. Actually zoom in and zoom out. He's on Bravo. I'm sure if our buddy here is waiting for uh, his Artie to come out. We're going to have to be ready to change vehicle. That hits with the arty anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and get in there. So it looked like there was a chance our guy uh, might not make it, so... Oh, that's it. Nice. Alright, that was a long ass game. But those are the fun ones. It's fun when you get down to just a few players on either side that you know have done pretty well in the game and uh just fighting it out. We had a lot of deaths in that one. We got Wingman Award. Ended up with 14 ground targets in total. Um, I was just gonna show you the T26, but I think I'm gonna show you all this because it was fun all the way through. Uh, let's see, I-15 couple kills, H-123 a few kills, and second place on the team with 16 kills and 5 deaths. Buddy of ours had 18 kills with 6, and 18 kills with 6 on their side, so well fought. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah! To save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.